Sagittarius, hi, welcome to my channel. So today we've got a timeless reading for you. Whenever you're drawn to the uh, the video, the title is when it's for you, no particular subject. We'll take an issue, something you're aware of, something you're not aware of, recent past advice and potential outcome. At the end, there'll be an opportunity for an extended where we'll dive in deeper. You can watch this for Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Mars, Mercury, North Node, or if any of those planets are currently transiting your ninth house, this could be for you. Uh, once again, thank you for the continued support. Uh, the easiest way to support the channel is via the likes, the shares, subscribes, comments. It does wonders for the growth. It's very much appreciated. Also, thank you to the Patreon members. Uh, your loyalty is very, very, very much appreciated. Thank you so much. And the description and all those that purchase private reads as well as um, uh, extended links. Thank you. Keeps me doing what I'm doing. Um, description box is all the information you need. Uh, all the links uh, are all in there. Um, on Instagram, there is um, several people impersonating me and trying to get people to purchase private reads. I will never do that. Do not fall for it. Uh, they're using clever little handles where mine is just Gareth Hudson Toro 888. That is it. No added letters, numbers, full stops, hashtags, exclamation marks, nothing like that. Just Gareth Hudson Toro 888. So if anybody comes, I will never contact you. The only way... Uh, to get a private read is via the website and um, yeah just be safe use your vigilance okay let's see use your vigilance I even sentence be vigilant okay uh, cross watch is your more than welcome let's see what we got for you Sagittarius do two more We have the Knight of Wands, okay. Okay, literally I'm looking at the Four of Wands in the background and seeing a cube. Uh, so because she's on the outside of it, having a bit of a fun time with the drum circle, I'm kind of thinking, thinking outside the box for whatever regards this is, okay. Something we're aware of, something we're not aware of. Recent past advice, potential outcome. We have the Empress and the Three of Wands, fantastic. It's my favorite combination, or at least one of them. However, we have the Nine of Swords and the Tower and the Fool. Okay. Okay. I kind of feel like you're gonna go through a bit of a shake up in regards to something. Um, you know, at the end of the day, sometimes our lives need, um, they need to be completely shaken up. They need to be changed and rearranged to places exactly where we need to be. Um, sometimes that might not feel comfortable. Uh, this could be related to, um, very much focused on that four of ones again, four, fourth house is home and family. So there could be some sort of shake up coming. However, it's for the best. The Empress and the Three of Wands together is literally getting everything that you ever desire. Fantastic. You might be seeing 33 a lot. And interestingly, 33 um, uh, in the Sacred Geometry deck I'm just seeing is, um, is believe. To believe is to receive. Okay, so there could be a situation here or a decision that's been made that's going to create some sort of distance, possible move uh, for some of you. There could be new job opportunities it feels very very new um however i kind of feel like getting there is going to be a process of some sorts um but it is a brand new beginning and there's certainly growth there seven to the eight of pentacles and the hierophants is part of the spiritual path so trust whatever's going on is is the message here so at knight of wands what we're aware of is judgment this is part of the ascension this is i almost feel like it's part of the growth it's part of the um 
the phoenix rising, it's rising from the ashes. What we're not aware of is the Ace of Cups. Uh, for some of you, there could be a surprise pregnancy here uh, with the Ace of Cups and the Empress, especially with the, uh, the Nine of Swords and the Tower. So do be very, very careful if you are not wanting to be pregnant. Um, because there's heavy energy here of potential pregnancies. Okay. Um, so yeah, Ace of Cups is very much um, having unconditional love. And sometimes unconditional love means we need to um, let things go as well. You know, there's picky battles, time to fight is, a, is, a, is another day. In the recent past, we have the Ace of Pentacles. So you've got two Aces. Um, so there's an opportunity that um, has been planted, which is going to grow. So that seed of the Ace will grow with the Seven of Pentacles. This could be a business opportunity, this could have been a promotion, this could have been an increase in finances in some way. Um, you know, or it just could just be a seed planted. This could be verbally, this could be um, sending off your CV and not hearing back and thinking nothing of it. The seed's planted, it, it, it's something in regards to that. Your advice is the Six of Swords. And I kind of feel like it's um, allow this movement don't struggle with the movement um you know the birds are doing all the work here she's just literally um uh, there for the ride um so there could be a situation coming up where you th there's perhaps needing to move for some of you a distance cross water possibly now the outcome is the eight of cups and the thing that's concerning me and i love it because you're walking away from everything that doesn't uh, doesn't um um resonate with you but i'm really concerned about what you're leaving behind is that ace of cups that unconditional love so don't don't feel rejected by whatever this situation is this is kind of it's for the greater good in whatever scenario this is I'm, I'm going to look for the, the Sun card, because that's where she's heading, which is the happiest card in the deck. So let's see what's going on. is with the Three of Cups and the Emperor. So we've got the Emperor and the Empress at the bottom of the deck. This could be a situation here where something's getting shaken up to literally place you in the right environment uh, to meet the right people, to meet, um, to meet whoever it is that you need to meet to get to the next stage. This could be um, having to move unexpectedly to meet somebody who is like an emperor, which is a boss, which is a leader of some kind that has knowledge, that has connections with that Three of Cups. Um, so whatever this is, I almost feel like I just want to tell you to go with the floor. Um, the universe is shaking things up. Again, it might not feel comfortable. However, I always say, Life is happening for you and not to you. Once you shift that perspective, things will get easier. You you won't react to things. Um, I'm going to have a quick look for Five of Swords because I kind of feel like that's what your advice is. Your advice is the Six of Swords, which means not picking fights, moving away from... Yeah, we've got the Star and the Lovers. Um, <sighs> picky Battles. You could be having difficulties making decisions at the moment or headaches, but healing needs to happen. Um, for some reason, I'm getting oh, star card again. For some reason, I'm getting Salma Hayek in my head, and I don't know why.
Oh, um, okay, yeah. Okay, so it must be something about communication. Let's just see where the Ace of Swords is. Um, so, Salma Hayek, she's an actress, if, none, if you're not aware of. Um, she, I came across an interview she did. It, yeah, the Ace of Swords is with the Magician and the Two of Cups. Your your words can have power to, um, your words have power. They can create relationships or they can destroy them. Um, she said, and it was quite interesting, so like, stop giving power to words. She said, I could, obviously she speaks Spanish, uh, uh, so she, she could reel off abuse at you in Spanish. And if you don't speak Spanish, you don't understand it because you don't have meaning. You don't put that power to them words. You could even start laughing if someone's irate and in your face and screaming at you. Um, but because you don't understand the meaning of the words, you don't, you're not giving any power to it. So if anybody comes at you or you with them, remember the power of your words is only what you give meaning to. So drop them, drop those words. Just let be, let things be. If someone screams at you with nonsense, don't let them get to you. Just continue on your path, okay? So there's gonna be a little bit of a, um, should we call it a readjustment? Um, but it's for the greater good. This is, I mean, that is for the greater good without question, okay? So, in your extended, we'll look at this a little bit deeper, we'll look at past, present, future, positives coming in, negatives to watch out for, as well as your next advised steps. Um, if you enjoyed me, fantastic. If not, let me know if this resonates. Who have we got? We have Libra and Scorpio. We have Mercury in Aquarius. We have Saturn in Pisces, Taurus, Libra, Sun in Aries, uh, Gemini, Aries and Scorpio, Gemini and Aquarius, Taurus, so we've got cups, we've got pentacles, we've got wands and we've got swords. Everyone's here, those are your standouts. Okay, look after yourselves and I shall see you next time.